Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out and talking about what happened with 5M earlier today, where it was a update system that distributed paintbrush rather than actually launching 5M. I am sick, I apologize for my voice in this video, but I'm going to make it anyway because I think it's important that the community talks about this and um, asks for some responsibility from the 5M team, um, especially because this is pretty much guaranteed to happen in the future again. And it's happened a lot in the past that people don't norm normally know about or care about at this point. Um, so let's talk about why this happened today. So they said it would be too long and polarizing to talk about why this actually happened. And it's technically not a reason for concern. Nothing was hacked. Nothing had bad pretenses to it. But it's still worrisome when a program launches a random program that's not supposed to be launched your first guess would be it would be hacked. And that's what a lot of people said. Even though that's not true, it could easily be true with the systems they have in place right now. It could be, maybe next time it won't be paintbrush. Maybe it will be a virus. Maybe it will be files that let them take over your computer. It could be anything. They could put anything in this program and have it auto download as an update because they feel like it. It is that simple. And given this has happened, multiple times, I think over five or six times at this point, since I've been in the community myself, it is a concern for everyone because this member of their lead project team can do this whenever they want. Regardless, they have no oversight. They are not a legal entity. They have no board, no executives. We barely know who's in charge or who's actually coding for 5M. That is the main problem. How do we know that is what happened? Well, their own team said it. It is the usual case of a specific team member doing undesirable changes out of a bad mood. That's simple. So let's talk about why this matters. First, we can talk about how much 5M is actually making. So if you didn't know, they have a Patreon. The Patreon is normally used by server owners because those server owners are the ones going to use the features from the Patreon. The Patreon has prices from $2 to $51 a month. 90% of people are going to pick the $15.50 plan a month because it accesses and gives you access to using streaming clothing and different features on your server that you don't get unless you're under eight slots. You raise your price depending on if you want more slots on your server, you can get up to 2,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's other stuff like serverless stuff and all that too. We'll get into that in a moment because there's a lot more that goes into how much their money they're making. But they have 15,000 Patreon subscribers. If you take their, even their lowest plan and multiply it by that, you got a lot of money. But with the majority of people on the $15 a month or higher plan, you can kind of guess how much money they're bringing in on a monthly basis. And there's no reports to go along with this. You have no idea where the money's going. There is no legal com company behind 5M. And the way that you can kind of tell this is by going down the legal route and taking a look at how 5M is registered right now. 5M as a trademark is registered under Zap Hosting. It is not registered under anyone else. It's registered under their third party game server provider. There is no other legal entity about 5M that I can find through this search. 5M is a community based project. There is no legal entity, but they still trademarked their name so no one else could use it through their third-party hosting provider, which is also concerning. Um, this should always make a legal system. You should always trademark it through your own company. It's intellectual property. It is how it works. So right now, Zap Hosting, if trademark stuff ever happens, they would have to deal with it because they are the ones who registered it. And 5M it holds people to a bunch of different terms. And if you've never read over this, I recommend reading over it. There is a lot in here that goes into how you're only allowed to sell stuff through their systems like Tebex, which I'll also get into because I have other stuff as well. Um, and how they have a lot of different services on here that they fully control because it's just how it's set up. Um, and you may be like, 5M, if they made a public company, Rockstar would sue them. Very, very possibly. But you also have to think here, Rockstar came out 
um, in November saying roleplay servers are all right, even though they can change this policy whenever they want. And personally, if I was a legal expert at Rockstar seeing how much 5M was making on a per month basis, I may have some problems with that. But coming back to their project team right now, there is no oversight. There is no board members. There's no idea who's running what. There is absolutely no idea what is happening over there, except for these vague responses whenever something actually does happen. And you have them partnering with Tebex for selling different resources for server owners and for players buying things. Tebex is owned by Overwolf. They are a legal entity and they have to be communicating with someone legally at 5M, but there is no information about that. There is no information on who's running 5M, we only have these names that come and go in their Discord servers. We have no info about how it's incorporated, who has the money from 5M, and there is no security put in place for when events like this happen. It takes minutes to hours to days for them to be resolved because other team members have to come in to come fix the problem. It is a problem into itself, and it's something that the community, I think, needs to talk to 5M about in the future or now because what if next time that person gets upset they actually put something concerning in the files that distribute you could put anything in there you could distribute viruses you could distribute other programs you can do whatever you want once you have that access to a computer and it's concerning you should never have one team member or any team member by that point to put random stuff into the code it is that simple. There needs to be development blocks to prevent that from becoming public in the first place. And there needs to be advisory teams put in place to ensure this doesn't happen. While they may be trying to move that way internally, we don't know because there is no oversight from the public. Even with big companies like Apple or Microsoft, every time that board members or the executive team does stuff, there is legal filings about it. You sell stock, they file legal filings. There is expense reports, so you can tell exactly what is being spent where, how much is going to salaries and payroll, how much is going to different aspects. That is important. Now, 5M is not a legal company. They're not required to do this. I get it. But at the same time, there needs to be some accountability somewhere, because clearly, if this happens, Every couple of months, because someone gets upset, there is no control over what could happen in the future. That is my problem with it. And I just wanted to get that out there. Be back to normal videos next week. Thanks for watching.